quantum mechanics violates Bell's inequality. It is incompatible with local realism. So either something is moving faster than the speed of light, or these particles do not have definite values before they are measured. And now a lot of people, I think, misconstrue what this actually means. Some people think that this opens the gateway for faster than light communication. This is not the case. Let me be very clear about that because this is a really easy mistake to make. Bob and Alice are not communicating with each other faster than the speed of light. There's no possible way to do that. The particles become entangled. And when you measure them, say Alice measures one, we know that instantaneously, the other particle is going to choose the opposite correlated value, negative one. But that does not mean that Alice and Bob are able to communicate with each other faster than the speed of light. No information is being transferred at that speed. So that's really important to know. And since there's no evidence of anything in the universe traveling faster than the speed of light, the way that most scientists have interpreted this is that we have to give up the idea of realism. These quantum particles actually do not have values that are specific to them before you measure them. They are instead described by what Einstein <laughs> called and resented the, the wave function. And so it has some probability of being in either state one or minus one before you measure it. And you might be wondering, where does this 2.8 number come from? Certainly it's greater than two and we can understand that it does indeed violate this inequality, but where does this 2.8 come from? And so if you're interested, I challenge you to go online and to try your hand at this experiment for yourself right now.